now. I think it's crushing. I think it's just very, very hard to even imagine losing a child. The worst news a parent can receive, their teenage daughter dying on her way home from school. Thank you for joining us at 4. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. Henderson police say an SUV and a motorcycle scooter collided on Monday. It happened in Henderson near Via Inspirata and Bicentennial Parkway. Pardon me. 8 News Now reporter Joshua Piguero joins us live now with details. Joshua. Brian Kirsten, a memorial has come together for 15 year old Maddie Peterson. I'm gonna step out of the way here so my photographer can zoom in to flowers, balloons, teddy bears, and even her favorite pastry. But this accident is serving as a reminder to some of these residents who want some changes. I'm just heartbroken. I just, we, we've been, the neighbors have all been, been complaining for years that these people fly up and down this road 50 and 60 miles an hour. Maureen Denman Bell lives a few feet away from where Maddie died. She says she's been living in this neighborhood for nine years. We've been complaining for years. They need to put more stop signs here. They need to do something. Now a child is killed. Henderson police say impairments and speed were not factors in this collision. Maddie was riding a motorized scooter on Monday on a walking trail that went across the road and collided with an SUV. She passed away Tuesday. Angela Figueroa's kids attend Pinecrest Academy Sloan Canyon with Maddie. My daughter's been really struggling because she, she knew Maddie and, you know, she's, it's hard for her to understand that, you know, one day Maddie's there and now she's not, you know, and. It's, it's very difficult. Throughout the day on Thursday, several stopped by the memorial, including Coletta Mattern and her grandson, Jack. We just are in such a hurry to get where we're going and we don't take the time. Young Jack says he understands how Maddie's parents may be feeling. We, we have lost someone that was from our family too, so we know what it feels like. I did speak with Maddie's parents who tell me they urge drivers to pay better attention on the road, especially in neighborhoods like this one where there are children on the way home from school. And we continue to see people dropping by. Right now you have a, a little girl who's getting ready to place some flowers in 15-year-old Maddie's memorial. Reporting live near Via Inspirata and Bicentennial Parkway, Joshua Perguero, 8 News Now. Back to you in the studio.